Hi, I'm Andrew Corbett-Jones. In this series, I'm being joined by some brilliant people in science, technology, and entrepreneurship. So let's see where this road will take us. Hey, Emma. Hey, Andrew. Good to see you. How are you going? Yeah, good. How are you going? Welcome. Thank you. What's a biogeochemist, <laughs> apart from incredibly impressive? For me, it's someone that kind of is interested in both the biology, the geology and the chemistry of the system. For me in particular, um, coral reefs um, and how they're changing with environmental change, particularly climate change. I was about eight years old and I vividly remember putting on a mask for the first time, looking under the water and there's like a city under there. You know, as a kid, this is fascinating. I ended up setting up an environmental consultancy company looking more at kind of um, uh, environmental management plans and ways to the companies could start to offset their, their impacts. That then led to my PhD which led to ultimately um, after that uh, a fellowship from the Australian government to bring talent from the UK over, over yep. to here yep. and um, that was yeah four coming on five years ago and I'm now yeah pretty much permanently based here. <laughs> So you're studying coral reefs, from it you're learning about climate change. Are you using coral reefs as sort of like a bellwether, is that, is that the theory behind it? 50% of live coral cover has been lost since the mid 1990s. That has ultimately been driven yep. by our changing climate, yep. so that, you know, this is severe. But importantly there is still 50% still alive and that's why obviously myself and others um, are still positive. There needs to be a shift away from the mindset that if we move to having an environmental focus, it's going to be bad for the economy. I think the chance for innovation, new job, new technology um, is something that we shouldn't be scared of, but actually we need to you know, kind of grab with two hands. We know the problem of climate change. We know how um, we can address it. So for me, that's why I still remain like, very hopeful because you know, that's half the battle. Um, previous generations didn't know what the problem was or right. what to do about it, and we know both of those things. Now we just need to make it happen.